When you or a delegated user run an action in Script Runner, there's some logging going on which will allow you to see who ran what with what delegated rights, what parameters were used, and what the outcome was. This is great for troubleshooting issues if you have any failures in your scripts. It's also great for tracking down who carried out an action if you need to find out in the future. So, to get to the reports, from your Script Runner admin dashboard, you can either click the yellow Reports button or the paperclip icon down the bottom of the screen. When you do this, it's going to default to taking up half your screen, and you can click the up arrow to expand the view so you can see a bit more. So this is the latest script that was run with Script Runner. And you can see that it was run by the TechSnips user in the TechSnips domain, how long it took, and when it was started. We can see the reason it was run. This is automatically populated in this instance. We can see that it targeted the TechSnips local domain and that it was run with AD admin access within the domain. We can see the result with a green tick, all the parameters that were supplied, and the resulting message. So we can go back and forth through the history of our action report. And we can see that the previous execution by that same user of that script didn't actually work. We've got some script errors there, a whole lot of parameters, and the result message telling us that the parameter set couldn't be resolved. And what helps with that is there's the full report here showing all of the console output. So as someone trying to diagnose this issue, I can see that the error actually came from the set ad user commandlet. But what I need to find out today is who added a bunch of users to my domain sometime at the end of last year. So to do that, I'll filter my reports. And I happen to know that the users were added sometime in the week of the 22nd of October. We'll go ahead and specify that week, 22nd through the 26th, click OK. And I can see that there were four actions executed that week. If I fire up my reports, I can see that I'm going to need to go and talk to JUser. If I look, I can see that they imported a CSV file and that they created all the users in that CSV file in my domain. It was targeting the local domain and there wasn't a lot of output to the screen. And just for curiosity's sake, even though I've got the answer that I needed, which was that JUser ran this, I can scroll back through and see that he actually had some issues in running this script. And it looks like that might be because he was trying to run the script as the system authority rather than an account with the correct rights in Active Directory. So there's a few more things to look at about reports. It's possible to switch to different views so you can see multiple reports at the same time if you need to compare and contrast. You can also copy the contents of these reports to your clipboard, save the report, or email them as necessary. And now that I've done digging into that particular issue, I'll clear my filter, and I've now got all 30 reports again. So that's a look at reporting on PowerShell activity within Script Runner. Thanks for watching.